Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Asim. I'm working as DevOps engineer. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can install the AWS CloudWatch agent in few minutes. And all the configuration part is going to be covered with the script I've created for you guys. Uh, and also, I'm not going to cover uh, the installation of AWS CloudWatch agent. Also, I'm going to show you how we can uh, use that particular script to monitor the memory of your ec2 instance along with the memory utilization in the auto scaling group as well so let's begin uh, because one thing i need to uh, tell you guys here that the memory of um, monitor uh, monitorization uh, of uh, memory of auto scaling group is very important and because uh, you know we deploy our application in auto scaling groups and uh, you know scale up scale down on the basis of that uh, you can set the uh, cloudwatch alarms to scale your application for instance if your application is um, memory intensive how you can scale up and scale down on the basis of uh, those particular metrics so um we are i'm going to cover in this uh video the installation part of uh cloudwatch agent and also the configuration so this is the script so let me navigate to my uh, machine this this is the uh, container uh ubuntu container so i've just created a video with regard to that how you can use the desktop and docker uh, Casm uh, products, so it is a really powerful tool. So I have uh, created a video with regard to that. You can watch those, uh, watch that particular video. So I'm using that. So um, let me show you guys uh, that how um, uh, I'm going to uh, cover that part. So I'm going to. Uh, take a shell into this particular instance so this is the blank instance i've spin up for you guys i'm going to connect in this uh, machine to the ssm so what i will be doing um, i'm going to use that particular script to show you guys the installation of and configuration of our cloudwatch agent so has become sudo hyphen i and i'm going to install it first and i'm going to show you what is happening inside how we can uh, monitor the memory and all that part but one thing uh before that uh, i need to show you uh, some of the very basic requirements so uh this is the script I've created, and this is not just for Amazon Linux. You can install the packages um, by using this official AWS link with regard to your distribution. For instance, if you use Ubuntu, CentOS, and all other um, distribution, installation of CloudWatch agent is pretty simple. But the configuration part, usually the main purpose of um, the installation of a CloudWatch agent, the although it has many features but usually people do the core part is the memory uh, statistics and on the basis of memory you can scale up and scale down so what uh, what i'm doing here first of all you need to attach a role uh, um, with this particular ec2 instance so what i have done i've intentionally intentionally and uh, not attached um, this particular role so um, what i will be doing if i navigate to this section click security and uh, click this ec2 console role so i have already uh, attached the ssm core role which give me access to uh, to this uh, shell which we have already taken so this is the shell so what i will be doing simply i'm going to attach a policy and this particular policy is going to be the one which i have uh, actually mentioned so this is going to be this policy cloudwatch agent so simply what you can do navigate to this and type cloud 
watch here so um, this is the admin policy and we are going to attach the cloud watch agent server policy so you see this is the one cloud watch agent server policy cloud, cloud watch agent server policy i'm going to attach it so now what i'm going to do i'm going to um, navigate to my vm and also i need to uh, you can call this guy any name cloud watch agent so um, as i told you this uh, script is with regard to the um, amazon linux but it is going to be uh, it is going to work for every and uh, distribution because the configuration i've set up in a way that uh, I'm I'm creating a file and it is going to uh, set up this file in opt it will be Amazon CloudWatch agent etc agent dot and this file has the configuration for instance um, you can change the interval and all that part so what I'm doing here uh, let me show you this part so these are the configuration with regard to the log state so as I told you the main purpose uh, of this video to show you uh, guys the um, um, configuration so it will take uh, the instance ID automatically you don't have to uh, put it manually simply copy the script and paste it which I will be doing uh, after a few moments so it is going to automatically uh, pick up the instance ID and let me show you the part uh, this is the instance ID it is going to uh, fetch automatically uh, from this uh, variable and okay. these are the log uh, group um, which is going to be created and uh, let me also add these um, um, policies as well so for instance uh, as this is the demo I'm going to give um, CloudWatch full access you can definitely narrow it down so this is the demo and I just want to make sure that um, I uh, take less time to cover all the stuff in this particular video so CloudWatch admin policy or full access uh, event and I'm going to okay cloud watch full access this is the one so uh, I'm going to give the full uh, access you can definitely narrow it down so as yes, the best practices so um, this is going to create a uh, one um, log group in your uh, uh, cloud watch log group and this is the instance ID and it write log with this instance ID so you can easily identify. So um, let's come to the matrix uh, with regard to the with this, uh, these are the processor and if I type all of them. Okay, so Okay, um, these are the memory statistics uh, which will you, which you will see that uh, the memory percentage will be appear for this uh, particular EC2 instance. So um, this part you see ends here, and I'm going to uh, what I will be doing that um, also I am updating. Uh, the file as well with regard to the service which is going to be um, available in this uh, machine so I'm updating uh, the service as well so uh, with set command as well with through set command and um, okay this uh, part ends here with regard to the installation of uh, CloudWatch agent where you are looking for uh, memory statistics uh, 
or logs of your single EC2 instance. But uh, what uh, if you have auto scaling group and you want to monitor, you want to monitor the um, EC2 instance memory uh, of many EC2 instances uh, or scale up and scale down. So what would be the average? So uh, if you have an auto scaling group, uh, I've written a comment here. In case of auto scaling group, use the mention below and put the complete script in a launch configuration of the auto scaling group in user data section. So uh, as we don't have auto scaling group, so if we have auto scaling group, what I will be doing, I will copy the whole script and put in my launch configuration. So what it does that it, uh, you know, uh, in auto scaling group we have um, scale up and scale down of EC2 instances. So what it does, it it automatically has the data of uh, EC2 instance uh, running in that particular auto scaling group, and the memory will be appear um, in the um, events. Uh, sorry, in the metrics section as an auto scaling group. So you can uh, set up the CloudWatch alarm uh, according to that particular uh, statistics. So um, what I will be doing, I will simply copy this part from top here and I'm going to paste it uh, in the console. So, uh, I navigate to the uh, instance and control, sorry, shift insert. Or you see, I've uh, pasted uh, this particular part and I'm going to make it executable CloudWatch agent. So, simply run it. So as I told you, uh, this gives uh, us the uh, memory statistics with regard to the single EC2 machine. But definitely, as far as the auto scaling group, I've already covered it. So uh, this what you have to do. So and now, uh, if I do system CTL CTL status of the CloudWatch agent. Um, sorry, I should type Amazon Cloud, Amazon Cloud Watch agent service. So you see, it is up and running, and the configuration is uh, already uh, set up. So let me navigate to the Cloud Watch section. The statistics with regard to the memory are going to be available in few minutes. So, um, then navigate to uh, the cloud or section. Let me okay. I'm already in this console. Okay, so if I navigate to the cloud watch section, so if you type cloud watch, So, um, Citrix um, metrics will be appear with regard to the memory and all you see CloudWatch agent, CW agent uh, is actually um, providing us the metric as well. So, it is seems to be appearing here. So, um, you see CloudWatch agent. So, so instance ID is this one. Um, Double five triple four two C. So if I navigate to this uh, CloudWatch agent and see uh, this is the ID uh, double five triple four two C. So if I click here, you will able to see the metrics uh, with regard to the memory in a few moments. So um, we have uh, statistics coming. But as I told you, it will take uh, some time. So um, you have to be patient with this. So uh, till then, I'm going to pause the video. And definitely, you should wait at least um, five minutes or 10 minutes. So I'm going to pause the video and I will be back with you guys in a moment. So guys, uh, 
statistics are now coming so uh, what I've done I've you can select the bar number as well so I usually take some time number as well to see um, the actual memory utilization as well so you can select the bar as well you see and you can have different um, pie charts or whatever you like so you can select the line as well so um, there we are with regard to the memory and this is the actual number with regard to the memory as I told you guys um, uh, usually you just are not looking to monitor the single EC2 memory uh, as I created this script um, in a way that um, you should apply this in the auto scaling group that is very important and scaling on the basis of memory utilization if your application is memory intensive that is where you have to um, put the whole script instead of uh, putting till here simply copy the whole script and put it uh, in the auto scaling group the advantage of uh, using that uh, that script is that you don't have to configure for instance uh, uh, let me uh, tell you the use case for instance if you are using the um, AWS code deploy blue green deployment what it does that it will create the new auto scaling group and the old auto scaling group is going to be um, auto automatically removed a new instance is going to be spin up and traffic is going to be routed on that particular uh, machine so what the advantage of using this group and this script in the launch configuration is that uh, it will automatically update the name of that particular auto scaling group and you don't have to do it manually and the statistics with regard to that particular ec2 machine are going to be automatically available for you guys so um, just like this for instance currently I don't have any auto scaling group just I'm giving you the demonstration so um, this video is with regard to the automated uh, installation configuration of uh, that uh, single EC2 along with the um, auto scaling group configuration script and this cover so that is very important that is it guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe the channel uh, Please share. Thank you. Have a nice day.